it would be here all night if I were to go on about all of these accomplishments. And I, but I wanted to take some time to talk about David's impact on PNRI. David joined PNRI as a senior investigator in 2012 and pursued work on the role of not putting on a case in cell function and regulation and cell communications. But in addition to his research interests in basic biology, he actively pursued new applications and mathematical methods to provide new tools for human genetics. This was really harkening back to his early training and his incredible talent in mathematics and his love for love for mathematics. Importantly, David brought two researchers with him. Uh, Jonah Doe and Amy Dudley, right here. <laughs> and um, the three of them, in partnership with John, brought a fresh vision to the PNRI, uh, shaping it into the institute that we are today. David was intensely focused on building PNRI, and I can tell you from a personal experience that he was a real evangelist for this institute. Uh, I have known David uh, long for a long time as a mentor and friend for many years. And by 2020, his enthusiastic vision and his incredible, looming excitement about the Institute convinced me to come home to Seattle and join him. We had many exciting conversations about what we could do together. And out of those conversations came ideas behind the decoding stress study, which we are still looking at today. The goal of the coding decoding stress study is to pinpoint the locations of genes and molecular pathways that are responsible for how our individual brains respond to stress and how they determine our susceptibility or resilience to stress-related disorders, including diabetes and depression, anxiety, but there's a longer list. And thanks to the generosity of the Washington Research Foundation, uh, where David was a long-time board member, we are continuing this work in David's honor. Beyond his scientific contributions, David was an artist, a talented artist actually, a writer, an incredibly lovely, creative, fun-loving, joyful person. He had a great sense of humor. He was passionate about sharing his time, his energy, and his warmth to help develop and support the next generation of scientists. He was a driving force in establishing the WRF, Washington Research Foundation Postdoctoral Fellowship Program, and was active in the Hertz Foundation Fellowship Programs as well. And he mentored many, many scientists over his career, including myself. David was responsible for bringing me from Europe, where I was a postdoc, back to the US to start my own lab, my own first lab. It's hard to believe now, 2023, but there were not a lot of female lab leaders in this space. But he believed in me without any reservations from the beginning and truly jump started my early career. I will be forever grateful for his mentorship and for the friendship that we've developed over the years. I am sure there are many others, including some in this room, looking at you, Amy, who share our there. To say that David shaped PNRI into what it is today is a gross understatement. We are all so grateful for his brilliance, his leadership, his friendship. May this memory inspire all of us to be courageously, to courageously follow our science leads, to enthusiastically foster the next generation of diverse young scientists and to never stop discovery. Thank you, David.